Yesa shimwe cyane bene data aho uherereye hose uyu mwanya ndakwakiriye mu isaha ya gaciro. Praise Jesus my beloved I welcome you in this our value wherever you are following us from. Amahoro ya Yesu Kristo abane nawe. May the peace of Jesus Christ be with you. Deka dutangizanye isengesho. Let us open with the word of prayer. Uwiteka mana turagushima kuri isaha ya gaciro utugejejemo. Lord God we thank you for this our value you have brought us to. Utuvugishe kukuri imana. Speak to us as you are God. Udukoreshe kukuri imana. And use us as God. Mu izina ryawe. In your name. Uvuge kandi ukore. Speak and do Lord. Ukize kandi uhindure. Heal and transform. Uyu munsi niteka ryose. Today and forever. Amen. Amen. Turimu Tariki 24 nyezo ukwezi kwa kabiri bibiri 2024 It is February 24 2024 kuri saha ya gaciro We welcome you all in this hour of value Ni gitabo cyakabiri cya Timoteyo gice cya mbere gatano kweza kuri karindwi We are reading in the book of 2 Timothy 1 5 to 7 Eh aho twongera kandi kubasaba E, umuriro ubari mu kongera kusesa mukabyutsa where we are reminding you to rekindle the fire of god that is within you bibiri yavuga ngo kuko nibutse kwizera kutaryarya kukurimo kwabanje kuba muri nyogo kuru loisi no muri nyoko unique kandi nzineza yuko kukurimo nawe ku murongo wa gatandatu nico gituma nkwibutsa gusesa impano y'Imana ikurimo ngo yake Iyo waheshwe no kurambikwaho ibiganza byanje ku murongo wa karindwi ngo guko imana itaduhaye umwuka w'ubwoba ahubwo yaduhaye uw'imbaraga yaduhaye urukundo no kwirinda amen amen on 5 when i call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and the mother Eunice and i'm persuaded that in thee also uh, wherefore I put thee in remembrance uh, that those stir up the gift of God which is in the by the putting on of my hand for God has not given us spirit of fear but of power of love and of sound mind to stir up the fire that is within us again it is a duty of every believer Eh, ni chingano ya buri muntu wese gukomeza kwitoza kucyazi or it is a responsibility of everyone to stir up or to train up on what you know ubundi yuzi kintu normally when you know something wongera no kwitoza you are you again train yourself nubwo bizi although you are you are known to it wongera kwimenyereza nibindi bishya you train yourself to know much more and new more things. Because there's always changes and updates in this world that we live in. As, as things evolve, so we need to be trained and cut up. Uh, all the work that people do, your job, there is a, a time for training. What does the training do? It reminds us. It uh, increases knowledge. And helps us to perform well our duties. Even when it comes to our calling, it's a, there is a fire of God that is within us. But if we don't stir up the fire that, that is in us, it can go off. So rekindle, stir up the fire. Here Paul is speaking to his spiritual son, Timothy. In being born, born again, Timothy did not, uh, Paul did not bring Timothy into salvation. Oh yeah. No. Timothy has a background of how he got saved. Uh, Timothy's background, he came from a believer's family. So he had been trained of things of God. So when he met Paul, 
Paul was on his mission. Paul was on his mission. If you read in the book of Acts of Apostles, when Paul was preaching the gospel, he got to meet, to meet this family of Timothy. In the family where Timothy comes from, so he adopted Timothy as his spiritual son and trained him. Na nyina wa Timoteo cyangwa se ababyeyi ba Timoteo The parents of Timothy eh baje kumumuha aramutwara aramurera. They gave him up to Paul so he could raise uh, Timothy. Ibyo kozwe ni numwe 16. Acts of Apostle chapter 16. Kumurongo wa mbere on verse 1 mm. verse 1 the Bible said, Then he came to Derby and Lustra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed, but his father was a Greek. Timothy, and on verse 2, he was well spoken of by the brethren who were in at Lustra and Iconium. Verse 3. Paul wanted to have him go on with him and took him and circumcised him bec because of the Jews who were in, the, in that region for they all knew his father was Greek. So he took him with him. Banyura mu midugudu bagenda babwira abaho ibyo butumwa n'abakuru bya Yerusalemu baba bategetse ngo babyitondere nuko amatorero akomerera mu byo kwizera umubari wabo komeza kugwira iminsi yose. Ahari Paul na Timoteo wibuke ko bari kumwe aha na Sila. As and as they were they went through the cities that delivered to them the decrees to keep which were determined by the apostles and elders at Jerusalem so the church was strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily so this was Paul and Timothy Timoteo rero atangira nawo kuba exposed aja mu bintu by'Imana kabisa byaja mu mwivuga butumwa muri za mission bajyana na Paul So Timothy joined Paul on all the trips mission trips that he had and he was now well getting well known Bibiri iravuga hari atwa dusubire rero muri Timoteo wa kabiri aho twasomye rimwe gatano If we go back to 2 Timothy 1:5 Ngo kuko nibutse ngo kwizera kutaryarya gukurimo ngo kwabanje kuba muri inde muri nyogokuru Loisi no muri nyoko Eunice cyangwa unique ngo kandi nzi neza yuko kukurimo nawe 2 Timothy 1:5 to 7 When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I'm persuaded in you also. We, 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 remember that they were in Derby. Paul, there was a Jewish woman who was a believer. And that's Eunice. A, a disciple, a mother of a disciple called Timothy. But he did not just mention his mother Eunice, the mother of Timothy. He talked about the grandmother of Timothy Lois. So Lois became a believer. 
raised her daughter Eunice and she got saved. Eunice now arera Timoteo mugakiza. And Eunice raised Timothy also in Iso a Timoteo yari umugiriki. The father of Timo Timothy was a Greek. She, he was a Gentile. So they too, they too knew God. They were family of believers. And Timothy was well spoken of. Paul called Timothy to and do the work of God. Then he gave him responsibility. On verse 6. Therefore I remind you. To stir up the gift of God which is in you. The uh, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Timothy was a very good believer. And Lustra, he was well spoken of. And Iconium, they will speak well of him. But there wasn't fire stirred in him. But when Paul laid his hands on him, the gifts that were in him were stirred up. The young men start working in power. Miracles followed him. And he start using the power that were in him. Maybe Paul eventually were separated. Yes, they did. And Timothy remained in Ephesus. He laid a church. After Paul had laid hand on him, Paul went to prison in Rome. And Timothy encountered some challenges in the ministry. And the fire that was in him started going cold. He start losing the passion he had. He start losing the passion in him. Why? Words. Gossips. Oh, he's a Greek. But he speaks the God of Jews. Look at him. Look how he is. He looks sick. All the words that are touched. He starts quenching in him. 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 He starts and people start terrorizing him. What does, what does the, what's the meaning of all this? Maybe Jews will come to him. He cannot even say that he knows God because he's not a Jew. He's a, a Gentile. Just like they do to us. Like the way they fight against you. Or maybe all the attacks you encounter. And the passion you have of God starts to go away. The love of God starts leaving you. And you start questioning your existence. Maybe you have that moment in your life. But this is where Paul reached out to him. That I remind you to stir up the gift that is in you. Remember you got it through the laying on of my hands. On verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Maybe he was in fear, but he gave us a spirit of power, of love, and sound mind. The fear can cause the gift of God in you to go off. You fear to go before people. Fear to speak the truth to people. Fear to hear what people have to say. This breaks your heart and it causes the gift in you to go off. But always remember, we were not given a spirit of fear and intimidation. No, we didn't. Spirit of being timid, being fearful. But we're given spirit of power, spirit of love, and spirit of sound mind. When are we able to do it? When the gift in us is fired on, is stirred up. When there's no wood to be added on the fire, it goes off. 
ni nako bimeze nawe impano yawe cyangwa se urukundo ufite nudasuka mwinkwi ubiza biza biza hagara same way the gift that you have the fire the fire that you have if you do not add woods to it it will go off izo nkwinikirera but now what are the words na masengero the power of prayer ugomba ugomba kugira ubuzima bwo masengero you need to have a lifestyle of prayer izo ninkwi and those are the woods zituma umuriro w'Imana wakamurira that stirs up the fire of god in you nindirimbo the songs kuramia worshiping God, Uhimbaza. praising God. I, I, I that is stirring up a fire. Those are woods to the fire. <laughs> the woods to the fire. Gathering of saints. Coming to church. These are all fires to Zituma the woods. The woods those are woods that stirs up the fire in you. The way that you don't gather. The more you miss gathering, so the more your fire goes off. Ariko, but the more you gather, the more you pray with others, so it's the same way the fire is stirred up. A sense gathering, it encourages us. Good. How? When testimonies are being shared, a person may say that it's been so long without children. But after years, Ascends. after praying, God blessed them with ah, children. Now you'll be encouraged in you. Now I'm waiting for my answer. That's how your faith is built up, is strengthened. Up. So when you have that hope in you, those are woods you are applying on your fire. Donki gutera na nabandi. Gathering of saints. Kumva temwanya. Listening to the testimony. Kuriri imbirahamu. Singing and worshiping. Kumvi jambo. Hearing the word of God. Bili ya bzongira kubzo tumurira muri tukwa. All these stirs up the fire in us. Ako kani no kugiena na nabandi wakishishwe. But also having a crowd of the believers. Kugiri shuti za bati nyima. Having friends of who fears God. Abano buba hima. People who obey God. People of God. When you have a friends who are friends of God, they always stir you up. The Bible says an iron sharpens another iron. Now it is. So likewise, the more you're with a man of God, they sharpen you. Your ages get sharper. And the fire of God in you is stirred up. Every time you be with a person of God, the fire of in you will be stirred The two men heading to a mouse, encountering Jesus unknowingly, when they were separated, they realized he was Jesus. They said, oh. they said, when we were talking to him, there was a joy within us. Yes. Yes. That's what happens. When we talk to him, when we talk to the people of God, when we talk to the servants of God, the fire in us stirs up, the joy is stirred up. So carry on and continue to gather with people. Read the scriptures. Reading the word of God, it encourages and strengthens us. us. It stirs up the prayers, kuramia, worship, jambo, reading the word of God, na na bandi, gathering with saints, na na imana, working with men of God, ibzo, ibzo, of God. Imana, all kwa. those stir up the fire of God in us. Amen. 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 Second book of Timothy, chapter 4, verse 13 to 15. Paul wrote these words to Timothy. Till I come, give attention to reading, to exaltation, and to doctrine. Pay attention to reading, reading, read the books, read the Bible. Uh, have the zeal and passion to hear exaltation. 
kandi ugira umweto wo kwiga une nigisha abandi and also attention to the doctrine ibyo nibyo bituma impano yawe itaryama this will help your gift to be stirred on verse 14 munduri nukirengagize impani kurimo iyo waheshijwe nibyahanuwe wo warambikwagaho ubwo warambikwagaho ibiganza by'abakuru do not neglect the gift that is in you which was given to you by prophecy with with the laying on hands of the eldership. Yeah. So there is a gift in you. Do not neglect it. Because it was given to you by prophecy. They prophesied that the gift is in you. The elders and pastors they laid hands on you. From that moment your life had changed. Therefore do not neglect that gift that is in you. But continue on stirring up the fire of that gift. On 15. Gwibyo uje uvizirikana. Kanda baribyo uhugu kiramo. Kugirango kuja imbere kwawe. Kugara garire wos. Changwi tera mbere liya. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all. Donc, nous sommes jambes. When you read the word of God, o, and you gira. train yourself, Baka and you are trained, Na and you continue on training yourself, then the gift of, in you, you do not neglect it. Ngo you will progress. And it will be evident to everyone. Therefore God is telling you. Stir the gift of worship in you. Of singing and praying. Of visiting the sick. Visiting the prisoners. Of gathering. The, the gift of bringing people together. The gift of organizing people. The people of making fundraising. Don't listen to people. Just hear that gift that is in you. There are many reasons why it's sleeping now. There are many reasons why it's not working. But I tell you this. Stir that gift that you have in you. Stir that gift that is in you. God is with you. And God will bless you. Let us pray. God, we thank you. For this is a time to stir up the gift in us. May we stir up the fire. And our progress will be evident to all. Everyone will see it. In the name of Jesus. I pray for my brethren to stir up their gifts today and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.